Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss new types pattern in Rust. Before we dive into and unwrap the actual power of new types pattern in Rust, let's discuss what is a brand new type, how to create such types and why do we even need it. The new type pattern basically means wrapping an existing type in a tuple struct to create a brand new type. So in this example, we have an unsigned 64 and we wrap it inside a tuple user ID to create a brand new type, which is user ID now. And this type has the same runtime representation, but different semantics. So instead of using U64, you can use user ID and get all the handling for U64 for free. And later in our program, we can use user ID exactly how we would use U64 or any other type which is wrapped inside your tuple. And then you can use it and access it as well. So now if we try to run this, there you go, you have your user as 10 printed because we are passing user as 10. New type pattern also ensures compile time safety. So right here we have a user ID type and an order ID type. Both are unsigned 64 and our get user is expecting a user ID whereas the base type or the type itself is unsigned 64. And here, if I try to call get user, and instead of passing the user ID, if I pass order, and there you go, we get an error as it says mismatch type except expected user ID found order ID. So basically, it also ensures you not end up mixing the types at runtime and running into any errors or issues. And this also improves usability. Uh, I mean, imagine user ID or order ID. These are some kind of fields which we are literally using in tons of places in our code from DB to, you know, accessing it and later using it. This new type pattern ensures that you are using this user ID instead of a U64 as a user ID for better readability, for improving code quality, reusability as well, which we'll see in a minute. And when I say reusability, let's say we have an email as a brand new type as string and we can now have our own functionalities for email so every time you create a new email it will check and if it's an invalid email it will return you the invalid email error now what this ensures is you can reuse this piece of code every time you want to use email otherwise you would you know use a util function which can be later you know compromised by other logics and stuff or you might end up creating multiple functions in multiple parts of the code. Instead, creating a brand new type or types which you are using excessively in your code, it's a better practice and a clean Rust code. And the best part is all of this you get for free, which is basically zero cost at runtime. So if I run the program again, as you can see right here, we have the size of F64 as eight, size of meters, which is a brand new type, for f64 is 8 and side of size of seconds is also 8 so you get all of that reusability and all of that uh, safety and better uh, readability for free and lastly type alias is not same as a new type because alias is just another name so you can interchangeably use u64 or user id alias and pass your values but new type is basically a new type and alias is don't give you any type safety so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys learn something new if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then bye bye